welcome back to our channel guys uh it's another foodie friday and i've got a pretty interesting one here today this actually turned out so good so um i usually like to stick to a low carb diet because of uh i have pcos so i try to maintain my insulin um so but we've kind of fallen off the wagon and i'm trying to get back on that wagon so i've been looking for different recipes and i decided to uh, look up a keto-ish recipe for some chicken and I found a keto parmesan baked, parmesan crusted baked chicken. So it was really good. So for our meal, I got started with some broccoli and I also wanted some sweet potatoes. So I put the, I just bought some frozen broccoli, put it on a pan, covered it in olive oil and salt and some parmesan cheese, cooked that. And then also the sweet potatoes, I did it my usual way, cubed them up, put olive oil on them, salt and rosemary those are my favorite flavorings for sweet potatoes for some reason um i can't really eat a baked potato anymore for some reason it gives me the worst indigestion i have no idea why so and I, i've looked into it and nothing says that it should be giving me indigestion so it's one of those weird things but cubed baked sweet potatoes do not give me any trouble anyway the chicken so I had really big chicken breasts. We grow our own chicken, we process our own chicken, and they are always huge. So what I did was I cut them in half, mainly because I didn't feel like pounding them out thin and they needed to be thin. And with a little almost two year old, you gotta be fast when you're making this food. So I went ahead and just cut it in half to make it thin, made our portions go longer too. I just used four whole chicken breasts and so this recipe calls for Dijon mustard and it's four tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And then let's see, uh, garlic powder. Yeah, it was one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of thyme and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I could not find our cayenne anywhere. I know we have it. I just don't know where it is right now, but I do have some Tony's so I just substituted with Tony's. That worked just fine. It also calls for a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and a half teaspoon of salt. And I use kosher salt. Now for the breading, you use one cup of almond meal and a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And I also added in some paprika to give it uh, more of a color to it. And you just mix that in really well. I just eyeballed the paprika. I don't even know how much I use. Probably like a teaspoon or two and I just mixed it in together real nicely now so you salt and pepper your chicken and I assume this is where the salt and pepper measurements come in but that was something I just eyeballed as well and I also put some olive oil in with the chicken so that it would keep it because uh, you're gonna put your mustard mixture in that you just made with the seasonings and you're going to just cover your chicken in that. So I thought adding the olive oil would help it coat better. I also put some olive oil on my pan, my grated pan, because I wanted it to bake up off of the pan and I didn't want it to stick. Once you have your chicken coated in the mustard mixture, you just start covering it in the Parmesan almond meal mix. and you should preheat your oven to 425 degrees. And once all of the chicken is done, you let it cook for about 20 minutes. I think I actually let mine cook for about 30 minutes for it to reach an internal degree of 165. And you let it rest for five minutes. I like to check the temperature of my chicken, like all of my chicken, to make sure it all reached the right temperature. We also had steaks and those were really good. Sweet potatoes are done. And I started plating up all of our meals for the week. This turned out to be a really delicious meal. Phoebe really liked the chicken. And I was very surprised that she liked the chicken so much. It was good though. That is it. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Like our video. Leave a comment. And we will see you guys later. Bye.